Solution. We are going to solve this now. So the first thing. Oh, do you need more time? I'll just do it quietly. Okay, so. There's only one force acting on this whole thing. So the net force is 120. If you want to keep working, go ahead. I'll post this video. So the net force is 120. And so if we do divide that by the mass, that's 120 over uh, 19.7, is that right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 19.7. So this should be somewhere around 6. 6.1. This is the key, right? That's your acceleration. It will be the same for all three blocks. So, if we want to find the tension in A, now we can say, well, the net force on this, net force on A, is just its mass times the acceleration mode, because it has to accelerate at that rate. So we go 2.2 times 6.1, and we get about 13.2 or something like that. And that's in Newton's, right? Yeah. Now, the great thing about this end block is that there's no friction on it. So the net force on this block is the tension force. The only thing acting here is Ft that way. There is no force pulling it back. So the net force is the tension force. So the tension force at A is 13.4. Now you move ahead to this block, and you say, well, if the tension here is 13.4, the tension pulling back on this one must be the same. So on this block, you have, if I just redraw here, you have 13.4 pulling back. We can find the net force on this block because we know it's acceleration. So we can say F net uh, of the 5.5 one equals 5.5 times our acceleration, which is 6.1. So that's going to be 34 or something. 33.6. 33.6. And then what we know is that these two forces must add up to this. But this one is actually negative because it's backwards. So if, I go, if you're mathy, you're going to do that. Now, some of you will just kind of intuitively know if you're a real world thinker, you're gonna go, <coughs> this force has to be bigger. This is the tension in B. And it has to be this much bigger than the other tension force. So you just add them together and it's gonna be positive. Right? If you're mathy, you're gonna say, the net force on this 5.5 block is going to be the tension in A plus the tension in B. So if you want to find the tension in B, you have to subtract the tension in A. Minus J. And that's going to be 33.6 minus negative 13.4. So you end up adding them together anyways. And that's going to be 47. 47. Yes. It's positive. If you want to check that. Wait, why did you add? Let me write. Let me write it out. Let me write it out. So the net force we said was 33.6. Positive. Minus negative 13.4. Oh yeah, it's being pulled back. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. So this one has to win by 33.6. It has to be that much bigger That's than this one. Right. Yeah. Now, if you have time at the end and you want to check this, 
you go to this block and you say, well, I know this is 120 down. If my FTB, if my tension in B is correct, this is going to be 47. So my net force here is going to be 120 minus 47. Would you add them together? No. Nope. Well, yes, you add them together, but this is negative. Oh, right, okay. I should write negative there, you're right. This is negative 47. So this is, let's just write this out, Fg plus the tension in B. And that's 120 plus negative 47. 73 newtons. And so that should be my net force. And 12 times my acceleration of 6.1 should be really close to 73. Right? So you just check. Yeah, 73.2. Close mass times acceleration, which is. 12 kilos times 6.1, which is, what is it, 70? 73.2. Now, it might be a little bit off because of rounding error here or there, but that's, that's fine. Um, if you're that close, you're really good. That's as hard a problem as I would give you, unless it's like a bonus mark or something. But... I can promise you it will be a different situation. So don't try to memorize a formula. Go through this and try to understand it. Okay, I'll post all these. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Um, wait, 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 wait. What are you going to work on on the weekend? The video. Oh, the video. The video assignment, right? You're going to pick a topic. Make a 30 second to two minute video. You don't have to be in it. I will post that assignment shortly. Okay, have a great weekend. We have a five that piece.